with with Rob. And, oh yes, um, yes. You know, it's 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 got to be such a you know uh, a fun sort of distraction yeah. or or a little side you yeah. know thing for on the show. You yeah, know? absolutely. And the crazy thing is, we never really know what the the the, uh, the response is going to be because you have to understand we're going into a country, we're picking like some song that's seemingly random and abstract to us right and we're learning this song that we've never heard before from this yeah. artist that we've never heard before and we're taking a chance of playing it in a stadium in front of 60,000 people and we're hoping that we made the right choice <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, and the last like I would say three legs we've we've, we've been it. hitting it out of the park but you know before that there was a there was some growing pains, and there, there have been a few times when we've we've gone to, into a place and picked the wrong song and played, and people are going, "Who? Huh? Which, <laughs> which which one?" Always... Well, you know, it's just like you know, uh, it, it's more so uh, the, the case in places like the states. You know, we'll we'll go into a place like Minneapolis and we'll play a song by an obscure punk band called the Zero Boys, mm -hmm. you know, because we think they're cool, mm -hmm. Rob and I. And we don't want to, you know, play any other any of the other Minneapolis options that we have, like freaking uh, uh, "Blister in the Sun" or something crazy like that. That drives me crazy. But you know, we went out there, we played this uh, Zero Boy song, we played the hell out of it, and it was really cool. But we looked out in the audience, and we were just like, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But you know the thing is, and I always, uh, uh, Rob and I always tell each other that if we pick a song and people don't recognize it, it's not the end of the world as long as we play it well, right? And are entertaining in, in the way we play it. Yes. So I mean, we have that to fall back on. Awesome. Thank God. Oh, okay. maybe you're even introducing people to something they haven't exactly. heard before. Exactly. Right? Oh, so I, 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 absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we played a Johnny Holiday song in Paris, and oh my God. I mean, we, we had the, the whole stadium singing because Johnny Holiday, who's the biggest, he's like the Elvis of France. He had, had died the year before. And so when we played that song, and it wasn't that long ago, it was only about three months ago, the entire stadium just was singing along with it. And afterwards, it made the, it made the news, <laughs> the evening news, <laughs> and they even interviewed Johnny Holiday's widow to see, you know, what she thought about oh, everything. Really? What did she think about it? She thought it was wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. Amazing. And that's the cool thing, you know, when you hear stuff like that coming back to you. Yeah. And you, you can tell that, you know, you kind of touch someone in a deeper way. That's really cool. Um, yeah. We were in, uh, in Nashville, and we played a Loretta Lynn song. We played this song, this one song, I'm talking about country in Nashville. A country song, you know. Yeah, I was like That's playing country play. licks the whole thing, and it was it was pretty funny for me and Rob. I, it's a but little bit of a departure, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, when we played it, you know, people recognized it. Not everyone, but enough people. But the important thing is, the next day, I got a message from Loretta Lynn, who said she was actually at the show oh, with man. her family, That's and so was funny. so. That's funny. Tickled <laughs> when we broke into her song. <laughs> That's awesome. And she said that you know she might she might you know think about covering one of our songs sometimes. Oh. But in the meantime, we should do more of her songs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and sometimes it just gets the downright abstract. I mean, we were in in Stockholm and. Yes, we did the final countdown because we had to. <laughs> you know, I you know, played the song, and then afterwards, I actually saw the keyboard player. <laughs> I said to him, "Hey, Bo, what'd you think of our version?" He goes, "Oh, I loved it." And then I realized I was playing his keyboard line on guitar, and I thought, "So, what'd you think of my little like, guitar thing of your keyboard part?" He said. It actually sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> think you th actually think so? He goes, "Well, you know, keyboards are wimpy." He actually said that to me. <laughs> <laughs>